Okay. We're on the same wavelength. So I literally just said that. Like, okay. <laughs> um, so, um, what do you have a number three? Number one um, was movement and being in the. Oops, what did I do? Let's do that. Do that. Okay. Sabrina is back. Welcome, hey. welcome, ladies. Hello, hello. How are you feeling, Sabrina? How's uh, your body? Um, it's okay. I feel a little bit like an old lady. Oh. But, um, yeah, like I did sweaty buddies yesterday and it was fine until like the end when there was a lot of sprawling and I was like, I'm just going to continue shadow boxing because coach isn't watching me anyway. So, yeah. um, <laughs> yeah, like I, um, like the lower back, I don't know. It's, it's okay, but and my hips okay like my hip usually I can still continue doing the things it just bothers me sometimes but um yeah at some point my lower back's just like that's enough of whatever we're doing what movements aggravate your lower back so yesterday it was um the sprawling like mm -hmm. just that like jumping back movement part of it 
um, kind of think, I don't think there was anything before that really that bothered it too much. <coughs> Okay, so mostly sprawling, high-impact stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. Today is supposed to be a sweaty day. I think it will be. I designed the workout to be sweaty, so I think it's mm -hmm. going to be sweaty. Um, the impact exercise that may aggravate your low back is the jump squats. You don't have to do jump squats. Just do regular squats. Okay. Uh, but it's going to be a lot of legs today. I decided today was going to be a heavy leg day. Even though uh, Michelle isn't here and this workout was designed for her hallway jujitsu class, which is going to be this Wednesday at 5 p.m., we're going to be going over guard. Um, and her issue was more, um, it had to do with more urgency, like making things happen fast. So I decided, okay, today's going to be more of like a high impact day. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I think you should be okay if you're okay with like lunges and squats and things like that. You should be okay with majority of all the movements. It'll just okay. be the squat that might aggravate your uh, back and maybe some of the core work. Uh, mm -hmm. Just because anytime you're doing core work, sometimes your your back gets tired. Just take your time. Um, okay. It's um, it's gonna be like bicycles bicycles and then the uh, exercise we've been doing a lot is kind of like these toe taps to uh, ankle taps where you're keeping your body hollow and you're moving side to side like this mm -hmm. hollow body holds out but i'll go over all the exercises and if you come to any of them that for any any of you guys um who have any issues i know cha is i'm not sure if you did your leg day already cha but it's leg day today, <laughs> so <laughs> your legs are going to be sore. Uh, you guys know I love my heavy leg workouts. Um, so if any of you guys are, or show of hands, does anybody have any knee, hip, or back issues um, and that might have issues with doing lunges? Tears that you do? That's right. So uh, what movements, lunging, squats, jump squats what aggravate tend to aggravate you um you talking to me yeah uh everything but i just soldier through because i'm mostly recovered it's just okay. it's it has pain but it's just weaker than the other side i have to try to at least get it up to i'm trying to get it to be equal to my right side okay yeah so just don't do them super fast and aggressive just take your time slowly because i think the movements are good for you they're going to be good for strengthening that leg just don't do them super like <laughs> crazy fast you know what i mean like you're some crossfitter on some competition just take your time take your time all right so at 605 we're going to get ready to start um we actually have a 25 minute workout today it's going to be a sweaty one one of my favorite uh, you know, I love my legs. It's been a while since I've done a leg workout with you guys. So we're going to get, we're going to get to it. Um, I know Michelle is busy, so that's why she's not here today, but she will be here on Wednesday. In any case, I will briefly overview the class. So, um, we will be going over guard and transitioning from the closed guard on Wednesday's hallway jiu-jitsu class. Um, her issue uh, that she wanted to work on was urgency. So she knows how to do the sweeps. She knows how to do the submissions, um, but she wants to pick up the pace where she's able to do them fast. A lot of that will come down to lots and lots of drill time, right? So we want to put ourselves in that situation as many times as we can in order to understand the nuances and the timing in order and for us to execute things on command, right? And sometimes it's not gonna happen that way. So we have to kind of switch our mindset to just be a little bit more patient, even though we're acting from urgency. So, um, Lots of drill, drilling on that situation, lot being put in that scenario, 
a lot and um, working through um, scenarios where you're meeting, you're getting resistance, where you're getting, say you're trying to execute the scissor sweep and you're constantly getting stuffed. Um, we want to work that. We want to work constantly getting stuff. We want to work being able to execute the sweep. We want to work okay, what do we do when we get stuffed when we're trying to execute the sweep? What contingency plans do we have from there? And then the more you do it, the more repetitions you get, as all of you guys know, this is kind of ad nauseum, you will be able to execute these moves a lot faster. Other thing is conditioning, you know? If you're going into a, a match or just rolling with your training partners and you're trying to switch your mindset to being more of a competitive mindset, your condition, if your conditioning is lacking, you're going to be fighting your own body in order to execute things quickly because you're tired <laughs> and you're out of condition. So that's what we're going to work on today. I'm, um, my mindset behind training is kind of a no excuses mindset. If we don't have training partners, we don't have the tools we normally use, we try and solve problems in a way where we're still getting something out of it. So we don't have any training partners today. We don't, some of us don't have masks today. Uh, we're not gonna be working on drilling. So what are the things that we can work on when we're trying to work on urgency, we can work on our conditioning. Um, does anybody have any comments or anything that they wanna add or just say today? Anything that I should know pertaining to the class so far as their week has gone? I'm lifting weights and doing leg day tomorrow morning, so I might modify and not do all of the stuff. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, so maybe do a li little bit and then modify, but that's that's totally fine, Cha. Uh, anybody else? Okay, um, what else, what else? Oh, okay, we're gonna go over the exercises. You guys have pretty much done all these exercises before, we're just doing it with a different time and in a different order. Let me go back to the Zoom. I wanna share my screen. There we go. Legs hit, that's us. All right. First exercise is the split squat. So split squat is different than uh, a lunge in the fact that we're doing the squat statically. So we're not moving or we're doing the movement statically. So we're not moving forward or backwards. We're just going up and down. So let me demonstrate to you guys. How the movement will go. Here. So split squat. We're going to take a staggered stance and then you're just moving up and down. Very much like a, a lunge, but you're just going up and down, not forward and backwards. Boom. Vaughn, are we supposed to be able to see you? Oh, are you able? I should be on the other screen, but I'll, I'll switch the other one too. Yeah, I had to pin the other screen. So she has two and I pinned the other one. That's how I was it. So I got it now. So okay. now, we can, now we can't see the list though. It's okay. I'll go back to the list. Okay. Um, so we'll sh I'll just show you the exercises for now. Where am I? I need to move the camera. This one that's going right here. Staggered stance. Up and down. Foot squat. 
you'll be on one leg for 30 seconds and then you can switch Boom. Boom. 30 seconds each leg next exercise will be um, stiletto squats so you can just take a pillow or anything that's going to elevate your heel I'm going to use this bar pad. My heel will go on the edge of these. My toes are going to be relatively close together. Right? And then we're going to try and stay as upright as we can as we squat down. And you're going to do this slowly, press your thighs out, and then back up. Boom. Okay, those are the first two exercises. We'll repeat those two times. Next exercise is, actually let me start the screen again. Good. Next exercise is our, let's see, boom, 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 boom. Prisoner walk-ups, and then we're going into the jump squat. So prisoner walk-ups, we're gonna be on our knees, hands above your head. We're gonna stay low. Here, after the prisoner walk-ups, we'll come up into jump squats. If you're having issues with impact for knees or back, just do regular squats, just regular air squats, up and down. And don't go too deep if you have knee issues. Just focus on pressing your thighs out. So this is me, relaxed thighs. This is me pressing my thighs out. And then I'll come up and down. Slow, slow, slow. So regular squat will be um, replacement for your jump squat. And then after this, we have kettlebell swings. Um, so if you don't have a kettlebell, that's okay. Just run in place. <laughs> So it's just going to be fast runs as fast as you can. If you have no kettlebells, if you do have kettlebells, we'll do kettlebell swings, and that's going to be for a minute and a half. Be here again when we do our kettlebell swings I create a triangle so the kettlebell is at the top of the triangle I'm going to squat down hike the kettlebell through my legs squeeze my butt to pop the kettlebell up so I'm here pull up 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 and then I let it swing between my legs and I guide the kettlebell back down. Last exercise, this is our core tricep. So just like I showed Sabrina earlier, we're gonna start with our bicycle crunches. I do mine differently, where I come up to a V up and I twist opposite knee, opposite elbow. Then I come back down, up to the V up, twist and down. Boom. Third, a uh, second exercise for our core is going to be our ankle toe touches. So we're here, hollowed out, touch side to side. And lastly, hollow body holds, and then just holding. Any questions? No, we're good to go. All right, everybody get their water ready, their music. Ready on the side. <clears throat> All 
I'm gonna stop this camera. Share screen. There we go. If you can't see me, I, I'm still on the camera. I'm just facing the other camera. So do like what Tirsa uh, showed you guys and um, pin me to the screen so you can see me. I'm gonna switch my mics. I guess I have to keep this mic on for my um, so it doesn't do that. Okay. Right. Make sure everybody's ready to go. Thumbs up if you're ready. Awesome. Starting in 14 seconds. 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four. Take your time. Slow slot. If you don't have a foot elevation, that's okay. You can still do this. Just do the squat with your feet close together. Break. Slow rest, slow rest. We're going to get back to it. We're keeping these two exercises throughout the whole workout. I'm going to torture you guys on the last stiletto squat. Split squat. Try to keep your body upright for this one. Sides. 
Little squats. We're gonna go halfway down and hold. All the way down and hold. Halfway up. All the way down. All the way up. Halfway down. All the way down. Halfway up. All the way down. All the way up. Halfway down. All the way down. Halfway up, all the way down, all the way up. Halfway down, all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, all the way up. All the way down, all the way up. Great. Now we're gonna be adding the prisoner squats after our uh, stiletto squat. Good squats. Snowflakes joining us for our workout today. So let us come your own pace, your own pace. After the puppy, then we're going to do the prisoner walk up. not a real active recovery I guess I'm not doing it I didn't give you guys something but I'll give you one on the next one so if you walk up stay low switch directions mix it up Jump squat, 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Great.
side. On your own pace. Where's your recovery? Oh, active recovery, active recovery. Get a recover and then prisoner walk. Which direction? Switch. 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 Jump flat. Halfway. We've got a second, so we're going to go into kettlebell swings after this. Or run in place, or burpees. For those of you who running in place is not enough. Oh, great. Oh. I gave you guys a long break. What? <laughs> you guys are lucky. I don't know why I did that. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well.
Run in place or burpees. You're doing this for a minute and a half. Choose your poison. We want to really push our lung capacity here as much as we can, no matter what you're doing. So if your kettlebell is swinging, choose an appropriate weight, choose an appropriate speed. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Five seconds. Less. side. Halfway down, all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. All the way up. What about swings?
30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Five. Great. All right, we're finishing with our core. Reach for your ankles, keep your core tight, shoulders off the ground, side to side. All the body holds. We're going through this core circuit three times. It's our first round. Get a little bit of a break and then back to it. Really count yourself by giving your hands over your head if you're there. Not Rest. Move your knees side to side if you need to stretch out your back. Bring your knees to your chest. Bicycle. It's like I'm trying to elbow my knee. Reach for your ankles. Reach for your ankles. Keep your belly button pulled to your spine. Shoulders off the ground, hollow belly. And time. I'm gonna go back to the hollow body holds. Something happened to my timer. Here we go. Do this one. All right. Hollow body holds. And wait. Okay, this should be our last one. Bicycles, bicycles to our ankle reaches to a hollow body holds and then we're done. Man, this timer is being nice to you guys. Turned off, gave you an extra break. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, bicycle.
reach for your ankles. Shoulders off the ground, belly to the spine, hollow belly. Break and then we're done. All right. Turn this way. Ooh. All right. Okay, I'm back. How is everybody feeling? Thumbs up all around. Nobody died. That's good. That's good. All right. Does anybody have any uh, questions, comments, anything that they want to leave for the class? I know, Jennifer, we're going to get you on a back. You want to do some back training? So we're gonna get on that. I'm gonna reach out to you for next week about hallway jujitsu class and figure out what it is that you wanna go over for next week. So look out from a text from me. Um, who haven't we heard from lately? Sabrina's back. I'm so glad you're feeling better enough and have time to join us for a class today. I know it was kind of a doozy and we've actually been pretty chill for the past few weeks. And then all of a sudden I'm like, let's get sweaty. <laughs> on a hot day, uh, but I miss these sweaty workouts. Um, That's what they always tell me. Molly also always says that she doesn't do a lot of burpees until I'm there. <laughs> we save it special for you, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Tears is back. You. You're, welcome. You're absolutely welcome. <laughs> Tears is back. How are you feeling today after, you only missed one week, right? I do not feel concussed. Good. That's awesome. Yes. I'm glad you're okay and you didn't have too bad of a spill. That's no good. Bruises and scrapes. All good. It's a part of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amy, how's it going? How you doing? Doing all right. Enjoyed the workout. Nice and sweaty. Yes, nice. Have you been keeping up with your drills? Yes. Good, good, good. Have you been noticing any improvements as you're doing it more and more or anything opening up for you as you're drilling? It's hard to tell on a dummy, yeah. honestly. We got to get back into the mat. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can all train together soon. Cha, how are you doing? Good, good. You got some boxing work in in lieu of in place of the legs. I mean, I was doing the legs. I was just like, if I do straight legs, I will go fast because that's just my my that's just how I am. So yeah. I'm like, if I do some boxing in between, I can like slow it down. Oh, okay, cool, awesome. That's cool. I'm glad you got something out of it. Jennifer, how was the workout for you? Uh, it was okay, actually. Like, leg days are tend to be a little bit easier for me because I feel like I have pretty strong legs, but I have really weak arms and back. So, like, the equivalent arm day would have been torture for me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm working on it. I'm working on getting a, a good upper body workout for us. So, hopefully, uh, when we come back, I'll have it, I'll have the scheme all, the program all laid out. So, it's, it's, uh, yeah, just like you, legs are legs are fun for me, and I can put to the programs together pretty easy. But then uh, back and upper body, I'm like, ah, I gotta find a good way. But next week should be good. Sarah, how you doing? 
Um, I'm good. That was good. I had to put the kettlebell down briefly during both of those rounds. Uh, I'm, I've got a 12 kilogram, uh, but, um, you know, so I could do better that way, I think, a little bit. Yeah, I had to put the kettlebell down, too. I was like, okay, let me push hard, because I was able to do two kettlebells in the past, and then I was like, oh, no. For a minute and a half, that's not happening today. That's not <laughs> happening today. So I have to work myself back up to it. In any case, I guess I'm letting you guys go home early. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay cool. I'll see some, hopefully I'll see you guys on Wednesday when we go over guard for hallway jujitsu again. Um, until then, have a great rest of your day. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye.